I was like, how did I let myself go so far? Like, this is insane. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, welcome if you are new. My name is Yvonne, and in today's video, we'll be talking about my weight loss journey on how I was able to lose 70 pounds. I'm very shocked to even say 70 pounds because I never thought in a million years that I would be making a video talking about my weight loss journey. Um, it's been a journey, it's been a struggle, but I was able to accomplish what I set my mind to. And I just hope this goes out to people who are struggling with their weight loss and are in the process of maybe starting their weight loss journey. I just wanted to go ahead and, and give a little bit of inspiration and motivation to those who are in the process of their weight loss journey. Um, but before starting off today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and give a disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist or a health coach. I just wanted to go ahead and share my weight loss journey and what's worked for me. And yeah, so it all started back in 2015 whenever I got pregnant with my daughter. Um, I started off my weight around 150, 160 pounds when were at the beginning of, of my pregnancy. By the end of my pregnancy, I was already 230 pounds. So I was very shocked, I was depressed, I was like, how did I let myself go so far? Like, this is insane. But then the people, the people would say, you know what? You're gonna lose the weight right after the baby comes. You know, don't worry about it. So the baby came. I lost 30 pounds, but after those 30 pounds, I did not lose anymore. I got stuck at 200 pounds. I did try to do different workouts and change my nutrition, but it never stuck. It was nothing that I could stick through for a long term. Um, so I was stuck at 200 pounds. After that, whenever um, the years went by, I just kept gaining more weight and more weight. And then by the time 2019 hit, um, I went to a wellness checkup and I weighed myself and I was 222 pounds. And I was like, what? I cannot believe my eyes. Wow, I thought, I'd, I thought in my head, I was like, oh, I'm at a right weight right now, I'm good. But I was having a lot of health issues. Um, I had diastasis recti, which is the separation of the abdomen. Um, while I was pregnant with my daughter, I thought it would go away, but it didn't. And the diastasis recti was very hard um, on me. It was painful. Um, I couldn't really work out or do any hard um, lifting or stand up for long periods of time. It was just very miserable. Um, so after that, that appointment at the clinic, I was just... I think it was just an eye-opening um, visit uh, for me because after that visit, I went home and I got determined and I said to myself that I have to lose weight. Doesn't matter if I had the diastasis recti or I had any issue, I had to lose weight. So I set my, my, my mind to losing weight. Um, I started doing keto. Uh, I started to incorporate more water in my, my nutrition and my daily intake. Um, I started to exercise a little more. And the following week when I had the follow up at the clinic, I already had lost two pounds, which was mind blowing. I was happy because what I had done had actually worked. And I was like, okay, if I lose this much weight now, imagine how much weight I could lose throughout more throughout the days and the months. So I was like, I'm gonna continue doing this. Um, and then I just continue to drink more water, change my nutrition completely, incorporate more walking, more exercising. And one of my big, biggest motivation as well was my husband. Um, when he was in the process of joining the army, he had to be a certain weight. He, he wasn't overweight, but he wasn't at the weight that the army required weight was so he started to work out he started to run he started to like do all these things and that was a big inspiration for me because I was like if he can do it I can do it so I went ahead and started to 
to go run with him. I started to walk. I started to do all these things. And then I started to, um, I started a job at a daycare where I had to be on my feet for about six to seven, eight hours a day. So that helped even more. So uh, imagine my nutrition changed, my exercise changed, everything changed. And I started to see changes in myself. I didn't, I didn't see changes between 200, uh, 222 to 200, but once I hit the 200s and started going below 200, I started seeing changes in my body. And so from July 2019 is when I started my journey um, to, to December, I already had lost 22 pounds. And I set my mind to like a goal that by the end, by January or February of 2021, I mean of 2020, I wanted to be a certain way. And I just kept pushing myself. I did intermittent fasting, which I love and I still do it this, to this day. Um, I started doing um, the keto. I don't do as much as I used to maybe once in a while, but um, I just prefer doing intermittent fasting more than any other thing. And you have to do it the right way as well. I talked to my uh, primary doctor and she suggested me to do um, an intermittent fasting because um, there's a lot of health benefits as well as weight loss. So I went ahead and did that. Um, I started incorporating low carb, but the low carb, I don't do as much as either. I do more intermittent fasting than anything. And then um, by February of 2020, I already had lost about 15 to 20 pounds more, or maybe about 15 pounds. So I was already, what, 180, which was really... No, yeah, like around 180. And then started, day started going by. There was times that I would hit a plateau or there was times that I wouldn't lose weight. And I would be like, no, you have to keep going. Because if you stop now, imagine if you stop now, what you could have done in a few months, you, could, you would have been able to lose a lot more weight, but you decided to stop. So I always had that motivation. I was my biggest motivation. I was I was able to to push myself because my husband at the time he was at boot camp. So I was just by myself with my mom and my family. But you know, if you don't push yourself, nobody will. You're your biggest motivation. So I went ahead and kept going and kept going. And by the time I was like, okay, by the time I see my husband again, I want to be able to look nice. I want to be able to wear a pretty dress i want to be able to feel good in the clothes and everything um by the beginning of my uh my journey my size pants was um a size 18 and right now i'm 151 and a size 8 um i could fit a size 8 and a 10 because i do have more curves so i'm a little bigger on the bottom than i am on the top so, but that's still a big accomplishment. Um, I'm still not where I want to be at, but I know that I will be at the point where I want to be if I just keep keep pushing um, and keep going. I know it's a struggle and it's a journey, but if I don't do something for myself, nobody will. So I do want to continue sharing my weight loss journey here on this uh, platform and share what's working for me and um and i want to go ahead and see back and see my weight loss journey and see how far i have come so yeah and if you really enjoyed this video and my weight loss journey story um i would really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and if you want to go ahead and, and follow me on my journey um and you want to go ahead and do this together um i would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel um, I do, I will be doing different types of um, videos in this YouTube channel, like cleaning videos, um, weight loss videos, um, mom life videos, 
military life videos, etc. A lot of more videos. I want to make this a little bit of everything, but my main goal here is my weight loss, and I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you, and and yeah, and just let you know that you're not alone, and if you need any motivation or anything like that, you know, um, you could just uh, text me on my Instagram, and yeah, so if y'all really enjoyed this video, please share it. Comment down below if um, you would like to know anything else or if I missed anything else, um, I would like to explain or talk to you a little more in deep um, about my weight loss journey. Um, I'm pretty sure I had missed some stuff in this video process, but um, it's already pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here and um, yeah, I hope y'all stay tuned for my next videos and I hope to see y'all soon. See you in my next video, bye. I don't know who you are, I don't know what you've been through.